Hello, I'm Ederson Oliveira. I'll be presenting this video for DNNHero.com. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the basic features of the forum module, of the .NET Nook forum module. Now, this module is quite extensive. I mean, there are lots of options, lots of different features, and my intention is to break, uh, to build a series of videos that will focus on different aspects of the form module and today i my intention is to give to give it a go to, just to get it started okay so i have downloaded the form module i have installed it on the try.netlook.com and i have my my uh, de my demo site here so i'm going to log into the back end and i'm going to log in as a super user but Admin would be fine as well. And we're going to have a look at the forum module. Forum is already installed. Forum is already installed. So let's go to the forum page. And under modules, let's add the forum module. Let's see where it is. It's right here. So let's call this forum and let's add to the page. Now, by default, a, a new forum module, when it's added to a page, it comes with a, a group called general. And if we go to general, there's already a, actually there's a group called discussions and inside of it, there is a, a forum called general. If I go to admin and then forums, forum manager, I can see under discussions, I can see the general. So discussions is the group, general is an actual forum inside the group. We can create additional groups under new group. We can create additional forums by clicking the plus sign. Let's say we have a, a a group called archive for instance and we can add this group no forums underneath it yet but then as we archive forms we can put it inside and we can create another another forum under discussions just by clicking the plus sign and that's where I would like to focus our discussion today are the basic settings of the forum now, when I try to create a new forum, the first checkbox, it asks if the forum is enabled. It's checked by default. Now, this little icon here, this is the new help style on DNN6. I think that the forum module is not styled accordingly yet, at least not the version that I, I have downloaded. Now, so we have forum enabled, we have group, which group this forum belongs to. We have discussions and archive right now. And if there is a parent group, a parent forum or not, we're not going to set this up. We have a forum name and we have a description. So let's say that we have a forum called All Opportunities. And let's call this, let's say that this is Work Opportunities. Okay, so this is the basic information. Now we have some. We have a lot of additional information here, a, a lot of additional options here, and it the, the tab name says it all. It's called options. So under here, we have the form type and form behavior. Now, under form form type is slightly uh, more simple, but form behavior can be a bit complex. And there are two posts done by Chris Patera. And I, I'll be linking both posts to this video where he describes very well both options. The only one that I didn't really fully understood was link form, but everything else is you I think I, I, I was able to understand everything. So we have both of them here, and I'm gonna be posting a link to both of them. Uh, now I'll just mention that under form type. We have normal form, notification form. Basically, the difference is that no, under notification form, you can have users or a group of users that will be 
not automatically notified whenever a new post is is made. It's not necessarily the moderator of the of the blog of sorry of the forum, but those users will be notified in any case. So that's really the major I would say the major difference between normal forum and notification forum. Link forum was not very clear in my mind. In link in forum behavior, I will leave you I'll leave that for Chris Patera to to describe that on his uh, blog post right here quite a quite a few uh, lines here anyway we also have enable pools where a user that is able to post will be able to create a pool for the users to vote on something and we also have uh, thread status which can be unresolved resolved informative we have uh, enable thread ratings where people can can rate the thread and maybe identify how useful whether it was useful or not that thread you know so we also have uh, enable rss feed actually this is a good way at least i think and i use that on the on uh dnn blog itself where i have a feed that reads all the new posts done to the forum and i receive them as feeds on my email client i i may talk about that in a future video in more details enable sitemap so the posts will be uh exposed to the sitemap provider as well and we have site sitemap priority which let's leave this as it is here uh this is just the priority of of postings in this in the sitemap i'm not sure if this is is still relevant in terms of, of SEO or prioritizing indexing of, on your site. I'm not quite sure yet anymore. Now down here you can set up uh, a bunch of options like moderation, uh, users that will be able to pin a thread, to lock a thread, to get notified depending on what form type. Again, different scenarios here. I'll be covering more specifically in future videos where I'll tackle one single topic for the form module. But the other, the last one that I want to quickly mention is the ability that we have to select an existing form and copy and load all permissions from that forum into our new one. So let's say that you have already set up a forum that has all permissions. You, you work through all of this, all of those permissions, you work through everything and you want to copy permissions from it, just select it here and you're going to be able to copy it straight from that forum to the new one that you are creating now. So last but not least, the last tab is called email. This is where the, this is how the from email notifications of that form will look like, will come from which, uh, which email account. Then we can set up, we can set it up here. This is coming by default, the admins account, user admins email account, but you can change that. And the display name as well, we can also change the display name uh, to here. That's it. And then you just hit add. And we have a new forum created, right? And, and we have created under discussions. So if you expand, now we see two forums under the discussions group. So that's basically it for now. I just wanted to quickly introduce the forums, mod, the forums module, the forum module, and I'll be going through more specific scenarios uh, in future videos. Again, very specific, so we don't make this too long. Okay, thank you very much, that's it for now and bye.